Hi, welcome to another video. It's been a long time since I posted my last one. I was very sick, so sorry in advance if my voice is a little bit nasal. Um, I wasn't feeling good to record or edit, but I'm back now. So, for those who doesn't know me, my name is Rosanna, and I'm an artist with a full-time job not related to art. On today's video, you're going to join me to make a painting with watercolors. Here I'm cutting the canvas with the size required, so I'm just measuring and using the cutter, while a stalker is watching me. <laughs> First, I'm preparing the canvas with a special watercolor ground so the canvas isn't going to absorb so much paint and the colors will look brighter. I tape the canvas to the table so it doesn't fall while I'm painting and I mix the watercolor ground with a little bit of water following the instructions and then I start applying the mix on the canvas And then we start sketching. I put my little painting test on the side so I can check the position of the elements and how I did the composition. I'm always scared to look at the white empty canvas and I start to sketch from zero thinking that I'm going to mess up. Does that happen to you too? Finally, it's time to paint. It is my favorite part. Sometimes I realize how awkward I can be. <laughs> I'm that person who tries to be nice and normal, but then the panic of being socially acceptable invades me. So I say things out of place or do things I didn't plan to. <laughs> like give information about me I didn't want to let them know overshare, give weird responses, sometimes it's the opposite and I don't complete the sentences. If I'm walking on the street and someone is coming in my direction, it's very likely that I'll do that little awkward and stupid dance when you don't know if, if the person is going to the left or right. So. Socializing is very hard for me, especially being shy and introvert. I'm like that meme when you're going to sleep and at 3 a.m. your brain reminds you that awkward moment you had 10 years ago. <laughs> so when I remember those things, I always think if I'm not even capable of being secure enough to interact with people, I don't think I can carry on a YouTube channel 
and a business on my own. And that's when self-doubt invades me. I've been trying having my own business for years. I have to admit that I never been consistent enough or gave up too soon. But even though this time I'm going more serious and I think I'll make it that this is my time. I also always think, what if I never make it? What if I'm not capable of reaching that goal? Am I going to be in a shitty job forever? Well, I don't know the future, but at least I know that I'm overcoming a lot of fears and it's never too late to do it. If you're thinking about starting something, now it's the time. I never thought I would appear on camera or talk here on YouTube, but if I don't start now, then when? Make mistakes, be awkward, be yourself. I know it sounds cheesy and showing yourself is scary, but there's always people out there that is going to buy with you. If you don't feel ready yet to talk on the camera, but you always thought about it, you can make a test first. And if you don't like it, you can try it again later or save that video just for you or just delete it. The thing is, it always feels nice trying something new. Even when it's scary, at the end you will feel better with yourself. Well, enough chit chat, let's get back to the painting.
I bought this beautiful gold watercolor to add some final touches and it was so satisfying to paint with it. It came out very pretty. I, I really like it. Thank you. 
This is the final piece. Wait, it is upside down because I'm just going to add some protective varnish to it. And this is the real final one. I hope you enjoyed this chit chat paint with me. If you enjoy this type of content, please let me know in the comments or just give me a like. It will mean a lot, believe me. I hope you like it and I hope to see you soon in the next video. Bye!